could start to scale it. Yeah, you can position it in space here. So we're both looking at the model at the same time. Here's an issue. If you want, you can place it anywhere in the model. Yeah, so the issue is going to be when we go to put that next section of roadway across. It's going to be a That's going to be a problem. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and record the issue. There could be a leveling issue here. It needs to be checked out. Conditions, priority high. This column is the start for the next section of road we're bringing in. Synchro is basically Bentley's new um, brand for our construction offering. So it's a full portfolio going from pre-construction planning all the way through construction operations and closeout. And what we're seeing here is basically a part of that portfolio called Synchro 4D, which actually takes design engineering models and turn it into a construction model. And what that means is basically split the model up into constructible components that I can apply construction data to. So work breakdown structures, um, schedules, tasks, and resources. So that can be used for both pre-construction planning and downstream and, uh, for operations. 4D is all about attaching a schedule and tasks and resources to a model. This roadway could be a 25 mile corridor and it comes from the design tools as one big model object. So instead of having to go back into an authoring tool that's very complex and hard to understand, has more than they need to redo the model, they can use this env environment to split up the model along alignments, both solid and mesh model objects, and then apply the data. Or even in a building, if it's a big floor slab, they could cut that floor slab and add construction information like a schedule to do 4D modeling in, say, civil, where it was not really possible before. So what you see here is the, a split screen with a 4D model at the top, and then all, a list, a grid view, interactive grid view of all those issues at the bottom. Those issues that could be RFIs, inspections, change orders, um, or work plans. When I start to be able to, to play back the actual schedule, I start not only in, trying to access the information in kind of a, a list view and being able to filter by who it is or what they were doing or the type of task, but I can start to, to navigate in a basically a digital construction twin by both time and location, the model space. It's everything that, say, the project manager, or field engineer, or superintendent captured at the time that they, they um, put the issue together. But it's also including the risk, risk management, the priority, who it's assigned to, when it's due. But it, again, I'm also capturing it in context of both uh, location and the model. And then we have a full audit trail of that information. I'm able to take the information off into the job site. In this case, what I'm showing is the same model that we might have seen in our web service or in, in Synchro 4D, but I want to capture an, an issue in the field. I have the context to know where I am based on the, the device, but also I can see what's to be built. And in this case, you know, apply an issue right there. And then I have, you know, I have my basic workflow for capturing that the detail information, but again, it's in the context of location and, and model space for the digital twin out in the field. If the person isn't comfortable with a full model experience, they don't have to have that. They can just use maps or 2D CAD or just a form like, just, like I'm showing here, and they still get all their workflows done, but the user or the organization can kind of scale their business and the sophistication around how they want to leverage the model information they have for those field users so they can um, scale up as they want to.